in streets. These are sweet potatoes, fire roasted in an ingenious nine-cylinder cooker. Ooh, come on. That's impressive. I mean, wow. He's asking, is there a machine like this in the States? There is not. Thank you very, very much. Mm. It's a meal. <laughs> also, sweet potatoes. We've learned sweet potatoes are the new superfood. Mm -hmm. Everyone in America, you know, it's like kale is out, sweet potatoes are in. That's what the Chinese have known for ages. <laughs> I need a 10-cylinder machine. Yeah. I'm going to open 50 <laughs> feet down the alley and crush this guy. And here you have to fight for your right to party. I mean, look at this. It's insanity. Immensely popular with local crowds, this stinky tofu is dried pressed bean curd that's been fermented in a slush of decomposed vegetable matter until it takes on the flavor of spoiled cheese. Street vendors offer it with sweetened soy sauce or molten hot chili paste or both. See, girls from Sichuan like their food spicy. Yes, not just their food. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm. I would encourage first-time stinky tofu eaters to eat it on the street in touristed areas because it's the stuff that's not too hardcore. It's a little bit addictive. A little bit? For many visitors, exploring Zhu Jia Jiao streets is an exercise in remembrance. Old Town on a Sunday, it's fantastic, it's busy. For others, it's a chance to pick up some essential local ingredients. So this is one of my favorite places in Zhu Jia Jiao. It's a hundred-year-old pickle shop. Wow. And they make anything that you can think of pickled and fermented. The Han To Long shop handcrafts hundreds of pickled specialties. These are cucumbers, fermented in-house in chili, garlic, and salt. Oh my god, the cucumbers, those small ones, just get that great, it's squishy but crisp texture yeah, yeah, yeah. that I'm yeah. insanely into. Enoki mushrooms are pickled with chilies. Crisp bamboo shoots and young ginger are preserved simply in vinegar. That's ridiculous. Mm. Put on a three-hour movie from the 70s, and you can eat a bucket of this. Truly. And it's good for you. It's very good for you. By the way, everything in here is very good for you. <laughs> a century-old pickle shop is just one taste of classic culture thriving on Zhu Jia Jiao's historic streets. Apo Zonsi, Grandma Rice Dumplings, are another. If there's this much shouting, it has to be good. Exactly. <laughs> for centuries, local Apos, or grandmas, have mixed glutinous rice, pork and salted duck egg yolk, wrapping them in banana leaves tied with straw. The dumpling was born centuries ago, served at the local Dragon Boat Festival. Today, this unique local delicacy is one reason many locals flock here on weekends. Well, this lady herself, every day, she can wrap 1,500 per day. Herself? Herself. And they sell about six to 7,000 every day. <laughs> this gives you an idea of the scale they're working at. It takes just 15 seconds for an Apo, or Apo in training, to stuff, wrap, tie off with her teeth, and move on to the next Zonsi. I'm just in awe when I see that kind of dexterity, because I just don't have it. I also don't have the ability to focus on one thing my entire life like right. this. A few minutes of steaming, and they're ready to eat. The fat glistening off the pork, seeping into the rice. So good. You can see that the rice is seasoned, that the marinade that the pork is sitting in, mm -hmm. it all steams in there and just creates a porky, fatty, oh, yeah. rice-soaked experience. Wow, that's amazing. And if your hand doesn't look like that after you're done eating it, you're not doing it right. Good food comes in unexpected settings all over Shanghai, like a nondescript back alley where one of China's great artisans weaves magic in a space no bigger than a broom closet. The smell is so fantastic. It is almost painful to stand here and not eat one. Late at night, the best meals just might be the ones that pick you. He really doesn't want to let go of my left arm.